Hey y'all, this is Brittany with marvelandmake.com. I recorded a video earlier today for my mom because I'm gonna be going out of town for eight days and she is coming to take care of the kids and do all the things, um, cook all the meals and clean and keep up with the house. Um, so it's a lot of work, I really appreciate it. And um, I, I sort of recorded this video to walk her through the kitchen and um, just kind of give her some recipe ideas and tell her what we have, um, you know, in stock in the pantry and the freezer and, and fresh and all. And um, I figured you guys might actually appreciate the information too. So I'm sharing this with you, but it's a video for my mom. So I'm talking to her in it. Um, hope you enjoy it. Hi mom. Um, first of all, thank you for being here and um, doing all of this. I know how much work it is. Um, okay, eggs. The eggs that are on the counter are from our chickens and they are fresh. Um, try to remember to check for eggs every morning, maybe around 10, and they can stay on the counter. If you want to cook with any eggs, I have water glass eggs under here. Um, so just right here on this crack, it's like about halfway full. Um, just pull them out and make sure you rinse them when you use them um, to wash off the, the cow line that's on the outside. Um, and I have been cracking them individually and smelling them just to make sure, but I haven't had any issues with them yet. And I've used a couple dozen already, but I just, I use those for baking, not necessarily like for a fried egg to eat fresh. Um, if you need, Baking powder, baking soda, right here. This is the baking powder, baking soda. Um, all of This is olive oil, and the rest of the olive oil is in the pantry in the green tin. If you need more salt, so salt is here, and if you need more salt, the salt is in the pantry in the bucket with the orange lid. That's this one. Um, if you wanna make cornbread, that is, um, this is your dent corn. Um, you just want the, okay, the mill is set to fine flour right now. So if you wanted to make cornbread, you'd want to turn it like 10 clicks, clicks to the counterclockwise, counterclockwise. Um, so clicks to the right. So, and then grind that. Um, so it'll give you like some coarse, um, cornmeal. What I have been doing is grinding it and then running it back through, like, so turning it back to where it was set um to like a fine flour and I just seem to really like um the cornbread that way more and that recipe is on the blog um this is spelt with the blue lid um spelt you could do a cobbler if you wanted um but easy easy breakfast is spelt pancakes and those are also on the blog you when you're milling flour um you're gonna get more flour than what you measured out in grains. So for the pancake recipe, you want a cup and a half of flour. So I would only measure um, one cup of grains and then grind it and it'll give you roughly like a cup and a half of flour. Um, again, that recipe is super simple. The other good, so um, like in a week, this morning I did breakfast burritos. That should be pretty simple for how, you know, how you do that. I, um, I do egg mixed with a little bit of milk, salt it. Um, cook a meat, so either bacon or sausage, and you don't need much of anything, which is nice. So if you're like running low on um, food or supplies, then um, it's a good one to, to do. Um, but I cook the meat and the bake or the bacon um, along with onion and bell pepper, and then pour in, um, you know, some beat up eggs that has, I add a little bit of milk to just extend the egg just right now with the chickens not laying very much um that helps and yeah make a breakfast burrito so breakfast burrito good option spelt pancakes good option for breakfast and then the other one that the kids just will completely devour is porridge so your oats are in here bucket with the yellow lid that is simple what I do is I take a glass measuring cup and I measure out two cups of the filtered water um put it into um, so this is the night before, put it, pour it into a pot on the stove and warm it. Um, and then I come in here and measure out two cups of oats. So it's two cups of water to two cups of oats. Put that in the same glass, glass measuring cup, go back into the kitchen, 
Um, and then you, at that point, have like warmed water, it doesn't need to be boiling hot. Pour that over top of the oats. And then in the fridge, um, you can either grab yogurt. I would actually use the buttermilk because the yogurt's a little bit old. So this one right here, this is buttermilk. You want two tablespoons, roughly, just eyeball it. Um, one, you know, big scoop of buttermilk because it's scoopable. Put that on top of the oats, stir it, and cover it with a tea towel or with a dish towel and let it sit out overnight. Then the next morning, measure two cups of water, put it into a pot on the stove, bring it to a boil, add your oats that had soaked overnight and um, cook it for just a couple minutes. I bring it to a boil and then I turn it down to medium as I'm stirring it so that it doesn't burn. Um, and then I serve that with, um, I'm leaving the fridge open just for a second. I put sucanet on top. This is the sucanet. This is the dark one. This is honey granules. That's the light one. So we eat it with sucanet. Um, sometimes I do honey. If the kids are not feeling great, I do honey. Um, sucanet, butter, milk, salt. Um, they even love it if I toast some bread um, and cut it up into little pieces and put it into the porridge so they kind of have something to chew on when they're eating but they will literally, they'll devour that. So that's a really good breakfast item. It's so easy. Um, okay, I've written down all of the fresh produce that we have, but um, basically it's asparagus, green onions, zucchini, and peppers, and celery, and carrots, and onions. Um, but I wanted to point these out. These are cubanelles. There are four of these, and I would take probably they're pretty big so I would I would use those for a meal one night and do um, the cornbread casserole that I have on the blog um, inspired by your stuffed peppers recipe so that's really easy it's all written out I don't have to walk you through it but um, those are in there let's see this big jug in here that's buttermilk as well if you run out and then obviously milk um, Plenty of cheese. I just got a new shipment of cheese in. So plenty of cheese. Um, just obviously use these up first. And plenty of butter. There is more butter, more sour cream, and more garlic in the second fridge. Um, try to remember to fill the Berkey. Um, I try to do that like in the morning or in the evening after I've cleaned the kitchen. Um, here's vanilla. This is vanilla bean paste. The container that it came in broke. Um, let's see, meat. Let's go, we'll go back to meat. There is lots of ground beef. That's in the bottom. Ground beef. Um, and then this is a bag of fish. Um, you can ignore all oh, this is bacon, but this is all organ meat, so ignore that unless you're feeling frisky. Um, steaks, these are individually packaged, two steaks per pack, so you, you would be able to just do pull out two and thaw those for dinner one night. Um, these are pork chops. Um, they're really, really thin. Pull the whole pack out, thaw those for dinner one night. And for both of those, um, you know, a meat and a veggie, that's an easy dinner. Just do, just thaw them. Um, and you can do zucchini or asparagus. Um, there's plenty of potatoes in the pantry. Um, the way I do potatoes is I cut them to like essentially bite-sized pieces and drizzle them with olive oil and salt and roast them in a like 425 oven for maybe about 45 minutes. I check them, they're easy. Um, I do that with a lot of veg veggies. Um, carrots, I've been doing that with carrots lately and they are like candy, they're so good. So um, that's easy. This is, here's some chicken breasts. Um, it's two, there's two chicken breasts in this pack. You could use these for chicken Caesar salad that recipe is on the blog, um, but basically cut up your chicken and cook it in 
some butter or lard um, with some Charmaine's bread dip. I'll show you that seasoning. Um, make croutons out of the bread that I'm leaving. So just cut those into bite-sized pieces, drizzle with olive oil, cover with Charmaine's, broil it in the oven for four or five minutes. Watch it, cause it'll burn. Um, the uh, Caesar salad dressing recipe is on the blog. Um, use the fresh eggs from our chickens for that. You want a one yolk and one whole egg and just follow my instructions because you want to make sure it emulsifies. So basically you put the eggs on the bottom, you put all the other seasonings that I have listed on the top, um, and then slowly pour in olive oil, use the immersion blender, and like very slowly work your way up, um, blending everything together. Um, this is a savory beef pie. Um, instructions to cook it are on the packaging, pull it out of the Ziploc bag and put it in a pie plate and put it into the oven with foil on top. And I have this written down on the bag. Um, easy dinner that will take an hour, like a little over an hour to make and you don't have to do anything. Um, here's some andouille sausage, two packs. You can use that for um, beans and rice. I have that recipe written on the blog. That one's another really, really easy one. Um, let's see, there's bacon. There's, there's this pack of bacon. And then there's this pack of bacon from the farm. Um, both are really good. If you, you, if you use the big pack of bacon, I would try to use that for more than just breakfast. Um, so I would pull that out, use that for breakfast but also um, the cornbread casserole recipe calls for bacon. Um, or I've got barbecue chicken nachos on the blog. That's a super easy one, and that calls for bacon. Um, here's two, two different beef roasts. That roast and that roast in the back, and then there's also a big Boston butt. I would avoid, let's avoid using that Boston butt because it's kind of huge. Um, but those beef roasts, if you want to do anything with that, you could um, cover it with salt. So thaw it, cover it with salt, um, bring some lard, like warm some lard in a Dutch oven and then uh, like nice and hot and then sear it. And um, so sear all the outsides, cut up a couple of potatoes and an onion and mash some garlic, throw all that in there. Um, cover it with a lid and then put it into an oven for at like 225 for a couple of hours. Um, that's really easy. And what I do, oh, and, and I, sorry, I add, um, when I do that, I add just a dash of port wine and, um, or regular wine, just, you know, red wine. Port is better. And I think we have an open bottle of port on top of the fridge. And a little bit of stock. So here's all of your stock. Um, you could use beef, beef stock, pork stock, chicken stock, um, just a touch of that. And that's kind of more to let the like potatoes kind of soften and cook in, but it also, the beef um, will soak that up as well. And then, so we'll eat that for one meal at dinner, but then the next day, what I usually do is I have um, that liquid left over and I also have meat left over. And so I will cut that up, the meat, I'll shred the rest of the meat up, and then the sauce that's in the Dutch oven, I will um, uh, add more stock to, and some heavy cream, and um, I typically don't do cheese, but I usually just do some heavy cream and make basically like a um, beef stroganoff out of that, and then serve that over pasta for the next day, next meal. That's really easy. Um, your stock is all here. If it, so there's beef stock and pork stock, and then the ones that don't have a name on them, that's all chicken stock. Um, that is what you need to know about the meat. Um, let's see, this is all more chicken stock. Bag of corn, bag of uh, celery. There's broccoli, broccoli, um, green beans, corn. So you can pull that 
pull that out and just let it thaw and you can slice it the way that I have written down again on the blog for cream corn. Um, I would do for the family, I would do five or six ears if you're gonna do cream corn uh, or let it thaw and grill it or um, warm it in a cast iron skillet um, in some butter with some salt. That's easy behind the frozen milk. Um, behind the frozen milk, there is pan sausage, more pans, breakfast pan sausage. So that is where that is hiding. Um, let's see, there's nothing else in here that I didn't mention. Sour cream, butter, garlic. Oh, rice. Rice is in the bottom of the second fridge. Um, yeah, we don't have any rice in the pantry right now. So fridge for that. Um, Charmaine's, this is the Charmaine's bread dip. This is so good. And if you run out, which you shouldn't, I have overstock, of course. Um, right here, there's more packs of that. Here's all of your overstock um, items. Here is my homemade taco seasoning. I do um, two tablespoons to a pound of ground beef when I'm making tacos. Onions and garlic is all in here. If you're gonna be baking anything, please use the big honey. It's just a little cheaper. Um, there's your olive oil. I think that's about it. I'm gonna write down a bunch of um, recipe ideas um, just to kind of, you know, give you something to go off of. We typically do leftovers for lunch. Almost always we will have leftovers after um, after dinner and we'll just do that for lunch. Um, please try to make sure the kids get a protein in the morning. Um, 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 I'm leaving you bread, lots of fresh bread. So you could do toast. That's, I mean, like really that's what we do every other morning. We'll do uh, toast and an egg and either bacon or sausage and typically sauerkraut. And the sauerkraut is here in the door. Um, the yeast is right beside the sauerkraut if you need yeast, if you wanna make any bread. Um, I think that's about it. Thank you. I know, um, I know what a chore it is. Appreciate it, love you.